incredibly glad that Kathy was saying this here. Let me hear it. Can we give Kathy a big round of applause? I'm here with you. I don't know if anybody follows Lance a lot on any of the social media, but he may or may not love a few miles here and there. My favorite thing is to be on a Zoom call with Lance a lot, and he always does it in the same place, and his walls literally look like they were, like, it could be wallpaper, it could be fake, we don't know, but I think it's true, right? It looked like they were just papered up with all of the metals in these walls. So he sits down in this little chair, right, and he puts the puts the, the camera down like this, and you're shooting back, and all you can see is just... Gold. <laughs> so that's a lot of room made of metals. Uh, where's Beauty? Beauty. 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 Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. Who's motivated? Who's motivated? Right, we're all very motivated. We're all very glad to be here. Hey, I got a, a quick list of people to thank. Um, there are, Bono, real quick. What is the number of registrants as of you have the current like in the last five minutes? Because guys keep registering all day long. We, we, we're up to 111. 111. Uh, wait, we're at 102 right now. So oh. oh, we're going to be Toledo! Do we have to wait, it's, it's called it's, it's a whole warrant, right? It's not yeah. Word. If someone can't make it, what do we do? Well, you stick a guy in there. You got to get someone Right, so who is not currently registered right now to be here? Oh. No, oh, wait a minute, throw all the way from Pittsburgh. I'm talking. All right, okay. If you, uh, if you didn't know you're in Louisville, right, just making sure that's uh, understood. You showed up for a different grow up, you're early. Early, I don't know, here's a defense. Uh, it takes a lot of guys to get this to, to happen. It takes a lot of logistics, and with the times that we're in right now, a lot of things can change last minute. Uh, and so the list of guys I'm going to read out next, I, I mean, lose your minds, because they have put in an incredible, uh, incredible amount of work uh, to make this happen. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, our host, Q, where Kilo is at. Yeah. Where Kilo is at. Oh, oh, yeah. So he's not man tanning. He uh, he set up all this grow up stuff. Man tanning. Oh, sorry, man tanning. Who am I forget? I forget. Well, he's not man tanning. He's host queuing. Hey, we got a shadow queue. Who's our shadow queue in the house? Flounder. Give up a flounder. Flounder is going to be crawling around all night long, taking pictures. He's going to be delivering. Things, water, and goodies, and logistics, and running behind the scenes, and so you'll see those guys out there running behind the scenes. Most of what they do uh, is, uh, what's that? That's where you go. We strap the bag. We strap the bag, too. And the reason that uh, CI is very excited about that is because when we were walking through the late night of Toledo, uh, and carrying bags with flags, and all that kind of stuff, what's that? Your what job protest? So somebody was just told, yeah, she was there. <laughs> and she was not having any of our foolishness out walking around at 3 in the morning. And she started yelling from her balcony, What y'all have And the guys were like, uh, What do you even say? Like, and so we just kept walking, and, and she just kept yelling, kept yelling. And pretty soon she came down and started, started across the lawn. You remember that? Yeah. We were like, I think Danny's going to have to shoot her in the head. <laughs> Didn't happen, so we're cool. Um, but uh, yeah, she was she was not pleased. Some guy I think yelled sad clown syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Which she was not impressed by that <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so the shadow cube cloud is gonna run around with this team tonight or tomorrow night, and uh, that is a huge piece of the logistics that kind of goes a little un unthanked and unnoticed. Uh, so again, thank you so much, Flounder. Um, my name is Dark Helmet. Uh, I'm going to be one of the trainers uh, today, uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, Slaughter and I are going to run the workout, and we're going to teach the school. Where do you go? There it is. I'm sorry, Slaughter. He put, he put that moon out over his... It's a smiley face. It's a smiley face. But then he thought like he needed to spell my name wrong, and then put a moon out over, over the U that doesn't really belong to my name. 
but that's okay. Uh, anyway, he and I are going to take care of uh, teaching uh, the road to school tomorrow morning, work out in the morning, all that kind of stuff, and then uh, we'll be under the log with you guys, uh, pressing the weight, working hard, all that kind of stuff all night long. We're excited about that. We have uh, three cadre for this, and it was supposed to be Danny, uh, Danny Stokes, cadre Danny, um, who is a longtime uh, Grow Rock friend, uh, and is also a Puget Sound tax. Um, but uh, he got what he thinks was the flu, but out of the of caution, uh, said, hey, I, I'm not feeling well. I don't know. If it's, actually, I think he does know that, doesn't he? It's tested negative, right? Yeah. yeah, tested negative for COVID, so that's good. But just the same, he's like, I'm not going to come spread those. So Danny's not with us. Um, but we have Kendra uh, Shredder, who, if you've never been to a grow up with him, it's, it's not going to be good. See, here's the thing. Bono says it's going to be fun. And while that may be true, Bono's definition of fun often includes incredible amounts of pain. <laughs> so just be aware of that. So we're grateful to have Shredder. Uh, Dred is going to be the other cadre, and then a guy named Seabass, who is uh, out of the Midwest, who is an absolute uh, monster. Uh, stepped up uh, last minute to be the third category, which is awesome. So those guys aren't here because they don't attend uh, the rally like we're at right now. But uh, go ahead and give them a hand anyway. Woo! We got a couple of guys. Uh, there's some other training uh, trainers and training train. What do you call them? Trainers and training. Trying to expose our uh, not the word. Martin, where you at? Martin from Carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin, yeah. Martin's with us. Yeah. And then we got Rapido. Where Rapido is at? Rapido! Rapido! Rapido not only is here training to be a trainer, uh, he also is co host of the most award winning podcast in all about three years in the COP podcast. Who listens to the COP podcast? Oh, yeah! Thank you. Yeah. 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 Who listens to the 43 Feet podcast? Yeah. They're lying. Yeah. They just did that because they're like, we don't even know what podcast it is. <laughs> My name Jamie Lance Rosebra. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. Gus, we're Gus. There he is, right down there. Yeah. Yeah. Gus, to your friend, to your friend. Newton is here. Newton, where'd he go? There he is. Newton's here. And uh, Katie came as well. These are all guys who are, so here's the thing. Grow Up has changed, right? We have, uh, we don't have the same relationship we had with Go Rock. Uh, we also changed the, the curriculum so that it's more F3 centric, right? More Q source based. Uh, has a lot more to do with the four quadrants of preparedness and uh, making us better leaders, right? And so the the reason then that we now are doing doing all this training with these guys and teaching how to be trainers and all that kind of stuff is because we're going to start doing more and more of these uh, and we'll be more sad, right? Sorry that it's volunteer sad. Yeah, cool. um, no, and, uh, and then we've also got some cadre training. Uh, that are here with us tonight as well. Bloodhound from uh, Cherokee. Where's he at? Bloodhound. Where you? There he is. Yeah. Bloodhound. Yeah. And uh, Major Pain. Major Pain. Major Pain. Yeah. Yeah. from Cherokee, but uh, now the uh, nation's capital, the DC area. And uh, Clinton from Toby Doe, the Toledo totally Miracle. There he is. Yeah. Those guys are training to be cadre. So you'll see them out uh, tomorrow night. And uh, if they look, if they have like these really evil looking smiles on their faces at some points, just know. It's because they're enjoying watching you hurt. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point, Bob. Thank you. Accelerate. You're accelerating. I'm accelerating. You look like you're dying. I know. Okay. Hey, and then the last guy that I want to give a big thanks to. Uh, he, he also happens to be the event queue for this event, but he's also the queue of Grow Rock uh, for the whole nation. And it's almost impossible to say how much work this guy does on a regular basis to make sure that this kind of thing uh, is possible. Okay, so tomorrow night, uh, when you get ready to go and you're all excited, I want you to think of Bono. I'm really serious about that. I know it sounds like you're sarcastic, but uh, Bono's done a heck of a lot of work and we really want to thank Bono very, very much. Yeah.
more morning with the workout and the, uh, and the school, right? There's a lot of things that you're going to learn that then you will then put into practice in the evening uh, with the rock, right? That's that's how it works, right? So try to keep your mind straight. Who, who else, all here has done a grow rock? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do a little something get to know some folks. So uh, we're going to see who the longest standing member in F3 is. So if you've been doing F3, come to workouts for at least a year, raise your hand. All right, at least two years, keep your hands up. At least three years. Four years. Five years. Six years. Seven years. Eight years. Anybody's hands still up? All right, eight years, put your hands back up. Seven. Seven. And who started first? Man, first, you did, but I ain't not saying. About the same. All right, well, Maximus, you come up here. Colin Cole! Colin Cole! So you've been doing F3 for almost eight years. For almost eight years. And where are you living before, right? Uh, living before. Well, okay. That's not true. All right. So you've been doing, besides the tagging job, F3 the longest of anybody. All right. Now we're going to go. Uh, wait. We have one more. Cornwall. Yeah. February. Cornwall. All right. So seven years and how many months? If you've been doing F3 for uh, 12 months or less, raise your hands. 11 months or less. 11 months or less. Dude, All right, 10 months or less. You kidding? No balls has only been here for two weeks. Nine months or less. Eight months or less. Seven months or less. Six. Five. Four months or less. Three. Two like an auctioneer. Two months or less. <laughs> One month or less. Oh! Oh! How many weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks? Why don't you come up? Come up. Come up. Good, go on. All right, I'm strong. Take me higher. You just started doing F3. Just started doing F3 two weeks ago. Man, you guys are fantastic. You've been doing that for a long time. I got, uh, I got some, you guys? Oh. We've got guys here tonight from all across the country. 20 different regions. How many regions? 20 different regions. Woo! 20 different regions. 20 different cities. All we only have 160. We got 111 guys that signed up. We'll definitely have over 100 people yeah. Doing the rough, right? And in case you haven't noticed, nobody's traveling. Banks are banks are closed. Manufacturing companies are closed. They're not sending people anywhere. Governors all across the country are have things shut down, limiting the size, right? It's a dangerous time, it's an uncertain time. But you guys came here from everywhere. Some people Two weeks, have no idea really what you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> no nuts. How long you been around? Six weeks. Right? Have no idea what you're getting into. You signed up two weeks in the. Hey, if you can post a couple times a week, you can do a. Right? Yeah. So we got guys. <laughs> we also have guys that have been here. Yeah. 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 Right? If these things aren't fun, they're hard. Hardest things some people say they'll ever be, but they're back. Why is that? Why are you guys here? Fiat, why are you here again? Seriously, celebrate my fitness post for space. Hey, there we go. Hey, good evening! Good evening! I mean, 
Gus, why are you here? <laughs> Don't ask him that. We have old stuff <laughs> right here. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. So we have a common bond amongst us. When you're driving down the road in a different city and you see that F3 sticker on the car, you know. Dark Helmet tells that story about when he pulls over, pulled over to help somebody whose car was broken down. And she said, I saw the F3 sticker and I knew I was going to be okay. Right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're a lot alike. We're a lot different. GML's old as hell and young. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have any hair. I have almost all my hair. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to find two tall guys to get between on the walk so I can hear anything. <laughs> I'm going to be next to Rapido all night long. Why do we do that, right? There's something that we have. There's something that's inside of us that we got talked into at some point in our career with F3 that got us out for the first time. And don't get me wrong, a lot of dudes go out for the first time and they don't come back. But you guys come back. Why? Because that fire, that fire got ignited. There was something inside of you that you didn't like. There was this person that you used to be or you wanted to be a little bit better version of yourself. Am I right? Aye. So you stayed the whole workout, even though I wanted to throw up, even though I didn't know anybody, even though I didn't know what was going on, right? We've all been there. And then I came back. Why? Because I liked how I felt when it was over that day. I liked the way those guys looked at me in COT and said, you're one of us now. I didn't have that. I didn't know that I didn't have that, but I didn't have that. And that's something special that I haven't found anywhere else in anything else that I do. And all of you guys have found that. And that's why you're here. And for every guy that's here, there's probably 10 guys that were almost here. Or guys that have been here before. Or God willing, guys that will be here in the future. I mean, we're talking 2,400 AOs across this country in 10 years. I... We're in 30 states right now. I estimate, no comments on it, 35,000 guys on a weekly basis are working on an F3. <laughs> show you the formulas. <laughs> I'll show you the damn formula. <laughs> That's why we're here. And it's not just 